So guys, it looks like Evercade Aid has declared war on the Atari 2600+. Plus. So, I mean, well, we've got this, got this uh, blog post from Evercade yesterday. Uh, cartridge news, Atari carts enter legacy status at the end of 2023. Obviously, this is quite interesting, because obviously this is the first time we've had five cartridges go out of print at the same time. This means there's now ten legacy cartridges, which... That's starting to get quite scary how many cartridges have become legacy. But let's have a look. So, written by Evercade. In, December, in the end of December 2023, our contact with Atari comes to an end. This has been an ex excellent partnership with Blaze Entertainment. It's been working pre-Evercade. And we've been very proud to bring these games to you. A particular highlight for us was the re-release of official Atari Lynx games with our cartridges. Not only hiring the strengths of the system, but introducing it to many retro game fans and many whole new audiences who missed out on it in the first round. <laughs> that is very true. That is a fair point. I do think they need to bring more of... The, uh, well, I think Atari needs to re-release more Detail Links games, personally. I feel that's a good point, because obviously, with these cards going away, that does mean that these games won't be as easily available, which is quite sad and quite terrifying as well so hopefully atari release like a, I don't know, an atari Lynx compilation or something if they haven't only got the games on the atari 50th collection because i know they've got some Lynx games on the atari 50 but i'm not sure if it's all of them or what but let's keep you having a look with atari now re-entering the retro wait re-entering the hell you mean re-entering like they've always been one of the retro game publishers i mean they was the first company to do backwards compatibility when it came to a game console with the Atari 7800 playing Atari 2600 cartridges, I don't know what you mean by re-entering the space. Oh yeah, by the way, I've got to mention this, but for disclosure, I do have an, uh, do have an investment in Atari, so I do want Atari to do well, because I have a financial incentive for Atari to do well. So let's continue. And every having released so much of Atari's available, available catalogue as we could, possibly could, that's... Whoever wrote this, uh, you're BSing, you're BSing here. Because Atari has a ton more games on platforms that you emulate that aren't available. The DM Network Towers, for example, Bubsy, Demolition Racer, you know, are just a few of the notable ones, just a few of the notable ones. So, I I, I think that line there, they, they're trying to make you feel like they've done all this hard work to make you care. And to make it says, so like, oh yeah, we don't want anyone to have a go. But you, you you're blatantly lying with that with these with this first line in the second paragraph. But let's see. It seems to be the best time to refocus our energies on new licenses around across the fifty years of gaming our Evercade ecosystem covers. Therefore the following cartridges will be turning into legacy cartridges at the end of the year and show stock is still available for retailers for the suit. Uh okay. So there's Atari one, Atari two, Atari Lynx one, Atari Lynx three, and Atari Code. We hope to bring more games from classic Atari systems in the future, as well as more great licenses in 2024 and beyond. Stay tuned to this blog and the other social media channels for more news. I mean, really though, like, people, I've seen so many Evercade fans on Discord and on Twitter and on Facebook groups saying, oh, this, this, is, um, this is Atari being greedy, Atari wants more money for these games. How do you know that? Right, Blaze hasn't actually said anything about these contracts because they can't. You know, you can't disclose contracts to people. This isn't Tumble Tellerico. We ain't, we ain't, you know, lying about stuff. But thing is, like, what annoys me is it's not even like Blaze can really even really allude to what's going on because and as FK fans are sitting there on like Facebook and Twitter and Discord saying Atari's greedy, Atari's greedy, Atari wants more money. No, I actually, I've got, an, I've got an, another idea on why this is happening. The Atari 2600 Plus exists. Atari has a huge library of retro games. The Atari 2600 Plus could be a viable competitor to the Evercade, largely because Atari can just release their own games on it, on new cartridges. And I know I've seen some Evercade fans going, yeah, but Atari's not really re-releasing its retro games, are they? Berserk just got an upgrade edition, which, you know, they didn't have to do. Obviously, the Outlaws just got a new cartridge. You know, you've got the combination cartridges of like the four for the panel controllers and the ten for the base console. Plus you've got uh, that homebrew Mr. Run and Jump. Yeah, I I think those people I think those okay fans on Twitter and YouTube and whatnot need to just shut up. Because you are wrong. You are spreading misinformation. And you you you're poisoning your fanboy. You you want you only care because it's Atari and you want to invest in Atari. Yeah? 
You gonna you gonna say the same thing about me and Sega? You gonna say the same thing about me and Coca Cola here? Yeah, you're gonna we're gonna stop boxing her because we're in WWE. Stupid man, these people are stupid. But that's how it is. That's how it is with these people. Like whenever an Evercade card goes out of print, somehow it's the publisher's fault. Blaze is one that can, Blaze is the one that obviously needs to try and make the deals work. Right? These publishers like Namco, Atari, the Oliver Twins, you know, Pico One, there are issues with all of them. Uh, but obviously, Pico One, for example, is the biggest one because obviously some of the games on there weren't even owned by Pico after after a while. But then other stuff like the Atari, this Atari thing, you know, what 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 are you gonna do? To be honest, I don't really. I'm not. I'm to be honest. Uh, one of my friend told me about this. This on a he, he called me up just as I was heading to work, and he told me like this, and I basically said to him the same thing. If Blaze and Tech doesn't want to work with us, then we'll crush them. Simple. And yeah, I think Atari's going to crush Evercade. Uh, yeah, so let's see how this goes. Anyway, guys, I've been EC, and I'm signing out. Peace.